The grid auto-placement rules prevent grid items from ending up in the same cell, such as these items here that are laid out in a grid, and the auto-placement rules have placed them one in each cell. However, when you place your items using line-based positioning, you can place items into the same cell if you want to, or in overlapping cells. So with my set of items here, they're laid out on this grid. We've got five one-fraction unit columns. And the grid auto rows property, I'm passing in a track listing. So I'm creating a track, a row track of 90 pixels, and then one which is a minimum of 200 pixels and a maximum of auto. So I'm passing in two tracks uh, into grid auto rows. So these created tracks in the implicit grid will be alternate 90 pixels and then this 200 pixels or maximum of auto. So if I position these elements on the grid, we can see how we can start to layer these up. So that's my first item there on the grid. And I'm going to say grid column, line 1 to 3, and grid row, also 1 to 3. So you can see now how that first item is spanning over two tracks of the grid. I've got five column tracks. That's now sort of filling the layout. And we're spanning two row tracks. So that's the initial row track, which is a 90 pixel one and then this taller one, which is a minimum of 200. So let's go for the second item. And this one, I'm going to say line 2 and line 4, and exactly the same by rows. And you can see now how that's layered over the other item. It started after the gap, after the first track, because this is line 2. And again, we've gone after line 2 on the columns. So I can just go through and place my other items. There's item 3, and we'll say 3, and 5, and the same for our rows. And then the last item, so there we go, we've now got some nicely layered items. I've got a bit of transparency on these items uh, using RGBA colours, so we can kind of see that they're stacked up, and they're stacked up in, in source order, which is what you'd expect. So the things that come later in the source stack higher than the things that come earlier. Now you can affect this using Z-index. So if we go to this second item here, and let's give it a higher Z-index value, and you can see that now how it pops over and sits on top of the other items. So I think there's lots of creative possibilities with this layering up of items on your grid, and being able to play with that with Z-index and see how sort of you can change the stack and use perhaps transparency in order to make interesting layouts.